how you doing? How your mama, how your brothers, how your sisters, how your family, how your friends doing? What's going on with y'all? So, I want to say, what is that about? Oh. Oh, shoot. I didn't even know I had a front facial flash. But you know what? More power to the people. So, the light in here is usually horrible, but on my new phone, I got a front facial flash. I, I didn't know that. Anyways, you learn something new every day when you play with things. So, y'all, I usually come to y'all, do y'all bedtime stories, bedtime thoughts, or whatever like that. So, I just wanted to say this because something happened recently that really bothered me. And I decided that I'm just going to document real life shit. Alright? Cat, be quiet. Got a new cat. And it's been whining. So, um... I was at my job the other day, and I work at a fast food restaurant, and, um, my nose ring is so crooked, and, um, as you can see, I have long hair, so, you know, I'm a black guy who has long hair, and I work in the fast food establishment, and supposedly, and I also live in the Bible Belt of North Carolina, and, uh, you know, supposedly, you know, I'm always talking about be different, be you, and all that type of stuff. So, with that, always comes other things. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay. You don't typically walk down your street and see a black dude with long hair, with purple hair, with blue hair. Look, I mean, look at it. You know? Or whatever. So, what I'm saying is, with the territory of being yourself, or being true to who you are, you do run into problems with other people. All right? So, picture it. Sicily, 1942. No, I'm just kidding. So, uh, so I was at work. Um, I had a head wrap on my head. Now, I bought, now, this is what pisses me off. I bought all these little head wraps or whatever from the, um, beauty supply store so that I could wrap my hair up and, you know, because my manager was like, oh, you know, you don't have to wear a hat, just wear your head wrap or whatever. And I was like, okay, cool. So I went wearing these head wraps looking like Erica Badu at work. Which I love Erica Badu and I love her style. So don't think I'm coming for her. Alright? Because people always seem to think I'm being shady. Or coming for somebody. So I have to clarify. So. I went. I, I bought these hair wraps or whatever. And I bought this one that was like a dread lock too. I don't know if any of y'all ever bought one. Because I usually have a lot. I usually have dreads in my hair. Or whatever. So I bought this dread lock tube thing. And I tied it at the one end and, you know, had the bun or whatever in the back. So, what happened was I was standing in the window, handing out food or whatever. And my hair came out of the wrap at the end of it. So, I was standing in the window still trying to fix the um, hair bun. My, my right hair. You know, I know I touched my hair and everything like that. But, at the same time... So I seen the man at the window actually making faces when I was touching my hair. So I was like, you know, I told the girl that was up there with me, I was like, um, can you, um, hand out that food or whatever, I'll be back, I have to go fix my hair. Because I already seen him making faces, which I didn't understand, but okay. So, I go to the back to fix my hair, come back up front. Meanwhile, like, our big boss is here in the store or whatever, so this was not the right time for this to happen, but... So, apparently, that man called and complained on me. Said, I touched his food, that he didn't eat his food because... Um... What did he say? He didn't eat his food because... Um... You know, I touched his food, and I touched my hair, and blah, 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 blah. He just threw it away and didn't want no comments back or whatever. You know, and I couldn't understand why he did that. So, anyways, he did that, and then my manager came to me and showed me the comment that the guy left. And she wasn't necessarily mad with me about the comment or anything like that. She was just like, you know, people are assholes. And I was like, and I agree, because I didn't even touch this man's food. And on top of that, his food was inside of a bag, inside of a wrapper. So, even if I had touched my hair, I didn't touch it. I didn't make your sandwich. <laughs> you know? So, as we all know, he's an asshole. Let's just get that out there. Let's just go ahead and say it. Truth be told, he's a fucking asshole. But, the funny thing to me is, why did, why would you do that other than the reason that you just didn't like that you seen a black man with long hair who was, happened to have purple and colors in it and stuff like that? You know, and I say that to say, you know, with being yourself, codes other things. 
Because people are not going to always understand you. People are not going to always get you. People are not going to always be like, you know, people You know, people on Instagram, social media are usually loving and say, oh, I love this, I love that, you know, whatever. But at the end of the day, you still live in a real world where people be like, oh, he got purple hair. Oh, she got yellow hair. You know, and I'm still saying the same shit. Okay, be yourself. If you want to have purple hair, then so be it. If you want to have long hair flowing down your back, then you do it, honey. Do what you want to do. Because at the end of the day, only person answering to God or whoever you want to answer to is you. And it just makes me sad that in 2018, you still have people who have nothing else better to do but to call a line and complain on somebody just because they didn't like the way that person looked, felt, or whatever. And truthfully speaking, I can't speak for that man because I'm not him. I don't know what he felt. I don't know. It could have been somebody who messed with him the other day who looked like me. You know what I'm saying? And he was just like, fuck him, you know. But <laughs> at the same time, you know, it's not fair to people, you know, when you... Do something just out of spite, and you do something to be hateful. Now, mind you, I've done some things too in my past. I'm not saying I'm a saint, okay? I'm just saying that people really got to think about the things they're out here doing. And this world is not getting any better, and people are just rude and disrespectful. And it's for what? Who hurt you? I mean, we've all been hurt. We all have our insecurities. So. With that being said, you know, that's why I'm always saying what I say to people. Because at the end of the day, I believe that everyone needs to believe in themselves. Insecurities or not, we all have them. We all have our problems with other people, with other races, with other issues, other genders, other sexes, other races, and stuff like that. And I'm not saying this man is any of those things, races or anything like that. I just don't get why someone would purposely go and do something like that. But at the end of the day, stuff like that does bother you. Because honestly, it kind of hurt my feelings just a little, this much, you know, this much. It kind of hurt my feelings. Um... For a little bit. And I was just ready to go home after that. Because I was just kind of like. You know. Why? So. I understand y'all. That I sit here and tell y'all to be yourself and everything. But I go through issues too. And that's all I'm really trying to get out here. Be yourself. Be you. Be happy. And don't let people fuck with you at your jobs. Okay. Have a blessed day everyone tomorrow.